we're going to begin to bounce on the ball. You're going to focus on the elasticity of your pelvic floor and the lengthening and rebounding sensation of the pelvic floor. Think about lengthening the spine and your torso lift, and your lower abs are pulled in towards your spine. You can be flat on your feet or up on the balls of your feet and toes for this exercise. As you continue to do this, if you don't feel it already, you'll feel the pelvic floor almost bounce down on the ball and gently lift and rebound back up inside of you. You can do this exercise with your feet just straight ahead the entire time, or you can also bring your feet out wider, about angle your feet about 45 degrees, again with the knees over the ankles, and bounce up and down here as well. Ensure that your abs are drawn into the spine, and you're lengthening the spine, creating that torso lift, and your head just floats on top of the body. And again, I'm just focusing on that lengthening of the pelvic floor and that rebound sensation. And again, if it's uncomfortable with your legs turned out, you can do all of them with your feet turned straight ahead. And from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to rock side to side from our sits bone to our sits bone, focusing on the lengthening and rebounding of the pelvic floor side to side. You want to have your abs drawn into the spine, lengthen the spine, and just let your head float here. And as you lift the torso up, lengthen the spine, you want to feel as if your body lifts slightly off of that ball, which will help the lower abs turn on more, and that pelvic floor lengthen and rebound. So when I do these exercises, I picture the pelvic floor lengthening and rebound, and I'm feeling that. And if you're not with time, you will feel that as well. And again, you can have your feet flat on the floor or be up on the balls of your feet and your toes. And just make sure that the abs are drawn in towards the spine, and you're really engaging your torso lift and lengthening your spine. And from here, we're going to bring our pubic bone towards our spine and release it. Bring the pubic bone towards the spine and relax, and that pubic bone will rebound down towards the ball. When we rock forward and back here, some people feel when they bring their pubic bone towards the spine that their torso wants to propel forward a little bit. This is where you really want to think about lengthening the spine and encouraging that lift to avoid that. And notice that my torso is still and that there's minimal movement in my knees. You want as much movement in the hips as possible. And again, if you're feeling restriction as you bring your pubic bone towards your spine, with time that will decrease and you'll get more and more range of motion. We're lengthening our pelvic floor from our pubic bone to our tailbone when we do this exercise. And when I do these, I really emphasize tilting my pubic bone towards my spine. On the next one, we're going to go ahead from the pubic bone towards the spine and add a circle. So this is really allowing our pelvic floor to lengthen and rebound in all directions. I'm switching directions when my pubic bone is tilted towards my spine every time. So I do a circle one direction and then a circle the other direction. I'm still focusing on my spinal lift and lengthening my spine and just letting my head float on top of my body. I focus on emphasizing tilting my pubic bone towards my spine as I go in the front and then really feeling that rebound circling all the way around until my pubic bone is tilted to the spine again. You're going to lie on the floor. Your knees will be bent and your feet pointing straight ahead. Now, there's an option to add a light weight to this one if you feel comfortable and ready, and I will show you that as well. Your foot will be on the middle 
of the ball. You're going to tilt your pubic bone toward your spine, which will lift your hips an inch or two above the ground. Now we're going to be having our arms out if you're not doing an advanced version over your head. We're gonna bring and drop the knee towards the outside of the shoulder, which will have your foot rolling onto the outside. And it's lengthening the pelvic floor and the rebound circles the ball back in up onto your heel. For those of you that want to try a light, light weight, you're going to reach out from under the shoulder blades with your arms straight, and you're just going to reach one or two inches above the floor. And now we're going to do the same thing. And if you're not using a weight, just keep your hands on the floor. We're going to bring our knee, drop it towards the shoulder, rolling on to the outside of our foot, then returning it back up to the heel. Ensure that your pubic bone is tilted towards the spine. And we're just, again, going to lengthen that pelvic floor, dropping our knee in. And then that pelvic floor is going to rebound back. You want to try to keep your hips parallel to the floor or as close to as possible. And again, we're going to bring that, drop that knee in and return it straight. If you've been doing the weight and you're finding that it's getting too heavy for you, you can just set it down and place your arms out to the side and continue doing them that way. And if you need to stop and you've done enough and you can't do as many as I do, you can go ahead and move on to the next exercise and you can do that with any of the exercises. So feel free to listen to your body. I want quality over quantity. So I would rather have you do two or three with amazing form than 10 with not very good form. We're gonna do one more. Dropping our knee in, lengthening that pelvic floor and rebounding up. You're gonna lower the weight and lower your hips and we're gonna switch sides. So now your foot, other foot will be pointing straight ahead with the knee bent. Our left foot is on the ball. You're gonna tilt your pubic bone towards your spine which will lift your hips up. If you're having your arms by your side, you can have them there. And if you're using a weight, just reach out and lift it one or two inches above the floor with your arms straight. From here, we're gonna drop that left knee in towards the shoulder as we lengthen the pelvic floor, and that rebound is gonna return it back up to the heel and return it to the starting position. So as our knee drops towards our shoulder, we're rolling to the outside of our foot. Check in and ensure that your pubic bone is still tilted toward the spine in this position. And the more you reach out, really ensure that your arms are straight and you're reaching from under the shoulder blade and you'll really feel the abs more. Again, ensure that that pubic bone is tilted towards the spine and focus on that lengthening and rebounding of your pelvic floor. And if you are holding the weight and it's getting too heavy, you can go ahead and set it down and just return your arms back to your sides. 